everybody, and welcome to the final episode of Season 6 of First and Last. Well, the final episode dun, of the dun, TV dun. shows until the thing you've all been waiting for, First and Last E6, next week. Oh, boy. Yeah. Who? Does it have a sequel name? Uh, I haven't I haven't done the sequel name research First yet. First and and the Half-Blood Prince. Uh, Is that the Return sixth the Harry lasty? Potter? <laughs> Return of the Lasty. <laughs> Yeah, this is the sixth Harry Potter. Uh, it's, pr- it's we probably just named it. We already did a Star Wars um, one, so oh yeah, we did. Um, first and last, he's six fully loaded. That's the La- sixth Herbie Lovebug movie. <laughs> last six. <laughs> I think I. Ooh. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, first, first six. Return of the. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I guess I guess that's the same. <laughs> I was gonna say the like Lord of the Rings movies. <laughs> I've been wanting <laughs> I've been wanting to use a uh, Land Before Time, except there's like Ooh. 14 of them, so I gotta wait until we're higher up because it's gonna get a lot <laughs> harder to find like, you know, besides like horror movies and Land Before Time, not very many other movies reach like 10 yeah. plus. You there's know, there's a lot of horror movies. Uh, uh, Ghost Dominion, that's oh. like Paranormal Activity Six. Uh, okay. The the WWE Ghost series, Dominion. The Marine, I believe, is a six. So it could be first and last he's six, The Marine six. <laughs> nice. Um Police Academy six is City Under Siege. Alright. A lot of good <laughs> lot of good ideas. Uh, um Bring It On Six is Worldwide Cheer Smack. Do you just have so a list of them vote. in front of you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I, I do my research. <laughs> okay, okay. Good job. First and lasties worldwide cheer smack. Think about it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, <laughs> this 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 episode is not about naming the next episode of our podcast, <laughs> but it is first and last. Joe, how does first and last work for any newcomers? Uh, each week we take a TV show and watch the first episode, and then try to think about what's going to happen for the rest of the show, and then watch the last episode, and then try to figure out what we missed. And like what just happened? Exactly. That's pretty much it. And we didn't, and we never end up watching the rest of the show. Just the first and last. <laughs> That's not entirely true. It's yeah, <laughs> never I mean, happens. <laughs> I mean, based on percentages, it's it's basically true for the amount yeah. of shows we've now watched and the amount of shows we've all finished. Uh, I mean, but, when you do a show a week, <laughs> and some of them have like a hundred plus episodes. Mm-hmm. Oof. Yeah, it's hard to keep don't up. need, don't need to watch any extra TV. I get enough TV every week doing this. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I have TV on a lot while I'm like doing work, just to have something on in the background, though. You yes. know, but it's not like I'm really paying attention hard and watching it, kind of thing. Just mm-hmm. like some noise. I'm so maybe stuff. I need to. A... We, we watch stuff. Here. We like a couple of watch things. You guys, you guys have that. You guys have your shows. Your Jersey yes. Shores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was one of our shows, actually. That was <laughs> a know. couple show. Um, yeah, Joe doesn't. Claire may, forces you to watch all kinds of PBS things, right? That's a. No, or that's she just, do, she just does that by herself. Yeah, that's personal time. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's that's Claire time. <laughs> oh yeah, talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. At this point, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Josh just like has a phone call. Uh, wow. This is just... like a, <laughs> this is an inopportune time to do that because he's picking the show this week. <laughs> yeah, so we got nothing got nothing to talk about. Yeah. Um so uh oh, I have a thing. Uh nice. I think by the by the time this episode comes out, which will be the 30th of September, we would have crossed Ooh. like just past the third anniversary of when our first episode went out, which was the 27th of September in Whoa. 2017. Oh so it was gosh. three years ago. That's that's insane. We've come a long way. That's insane. Three years. And so this this must be then the 150th show we've done this for. Is that right? Yes, that would be right if you take out <laughs> any of the other shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah. Besides, like, so it's the f- this is the one hundred and fiftieth first and lasty. What? Well, for show show that 
show that we've watched the first and last of. Oh, the 150th show? That might not be true. Because... We'd have to run the numbers. Well, because we do 25 a season, right? Yeah, but then we also had some random ones. We had some, like, we had, like, a Star Wars pod or something and, like, But I don't count that. I didn't count those as uh, shows for the season, I don't believe. Yeah, because we have an... Because otherwise we would have... 156 episodes right and we have more than that yeah, yeah. this is this is number 158 okay so, so yeah so this is the 150th oh TV man show. Well, show for the third anniversary mm-hmm. of the show holy crap i'm glad i picked a banger then <laughs> oh man it better be I'm so oh my god i didn't know i didn't know any of that stuff uh <laughs> yeah. and there's and there's no change in the show now the oh, barrel is getting kind of slim. We've, we've done a lot of shows. So when I was like skimming through like Hulu to try to find a show last time, I was like, ooh, I don't know. Yeah. And we did some huge shows in this season. This is true. <laughs> we talked about before, but I still have a pretty solid short list that like I can't do essentially unless we're together, you know, mm. Mm. just because it's harder to procure the stuff. To stream. Uh, but none of those good shows are the ones we're doing today. Cool. Today. To apparently celebrate not only our anniversary and also our 150th TV show <laughs> that we've watched, mm-hmm. we are going back to a old time favorite. Yes, that's right. We're continuing on with the Power Rangers <laughs> yes. in Power Rangers <laughs> Wild Force. Uh, oh, we're getting into the forces now. Yeah. Wild um, Force. I don't even remember what the last one was. Well, it was just uh, before time, Force. Right? It was the time one. I think it was Time Force. It might have been Time Force. So maybe we have started the forces. It was exactly, just FYI, uh, a little bit of uh, trivia, because Jimmy likes stuff like that, is that we did, I'm actually turning my notebook. uh, uh Uh-oh. I went from Just Shoot Me, which was number, where's episode 148? So now my, either way, 148 was exactly 10 weeks ago. So. Mm -hmm. So was that been, the last Ranger we did? That was the last Ranger episode. Okay. And I cannot now find in the notebook oh, that yeah, I Yeah, it was Time Force. It was Time Force? All right. The last couple we did were Lost Galaxy and then Lightspeed Rescue and then Time Force. Mm-hmm. So that was the and first of the forces. Seems, I would say it seems like this one is going to be a little bit more like world based and not they're they're coming back from space and i think they're coming to like back to earth that would be my uh my assumption on this but really quick before we do that time force uh our uh, wild force is the one we're doing (laughs) is uh february 9th 2002 through november 16th 2002 uh very a typical 40 episode season or uh series episodes for for this wild force Mm mm-hmm Okay, I kind of try to take a little perusal of who was starring in it, and I couldn't identify anybody as a big actor anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no recurring like Tommy or I thought he was in all of them. I feel lied to. Yeah, you were lied to. <laughs> Maybe you were lied to. Hmm. But. So that's that's that. I mean, so it's called Wild Force. Yeah. I'm assuming it's some sort of animal theme again. Maybe uh big cats. Yeah, I'm just looking at the logo. It, it it's like Power Rangers is like written into this like big cat medallion. Okay. <laughs> oh man, so they're like morphers are just going to be cat faces and they're all saber tooth. <laughs> They actually just pet a house cat until they transform. I hope they're all yellow rangers. <laughs> they're all orange tabby rangers, Jimmy. Oh, cute. Like one, of them's a, one of them's a they're main coon. They all love lasagna. They have, I, I'd be honest, it'd be pretty funny if they had lasagna. Power Rangers Who layered lasagna. Lasagna, <laughs> lasagna force. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, yeah. Number course. number one, we should we should say what do they yell? Into pasta. What do they yell when they morph? I'm assuming literally they just yell wild force. I think they yell, "Let's get wild." 
<laughs> so awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm right i'm here's the deal i'm writing this down and if either one, any of us get this right that person's getting a point if they um, the so good joe ra- good rangers gone wild you are just not even trying to get a point on you, <laughs> rangers gone wild <laughs> okay so joe's got let's get wild is it right is that <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah it's let's get wild mine was just generic wild force um jimmy's I, was something sexual <laughs> you because you took it sexual uh i want to go i hope that they go back to just old-fashioned uh morphin time okay has it been long enough for them to return god i hope so it's retro at that point 2002 like 95 or something was the first one or is that is it later than that uh 94 93 93 oh man yeah we're like a decade into power rangers Mm-hmm. all right um i kind of feel like they have uh I'm, I'm gonna go with there's some sort of maybe slight mysticism in the fact that each one of them have their own like uh spirit animal mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. they're gonna like see like a like a lynx running through the forest and like someone's gonna see like a rhino where the rhino's not supposed to be in whatever city they're in and then and then when they get their powers they can like the animal helps them. Okay. <laughs> Something. So no longer bots. We got ghosts. <laughs> Is that what Spirits. you're saying? Spirit animals. Okay. Right. Sure. <laughs> okay. So like I a mean, sentient, I like it. it. Like it's like it's like Jeff, my spirit orca whale, right? Yeah. Like, exactly. It like has a personality of its own and like can help you. That's what they yell when they morph. Jeff, lend me your power. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff the Orca. Um, Do we think we see any, like, returning faces from either past Power Rangers or even just, like, an Alpha 5 or a Zordon? Well, Zordon's dead, right? Or something. Yeah, Zordon, he's dead now. He's never, like, there's no way he's really dead. But do you think we see uh, any returning faces in this one? Or is it just completely new slate, new kids, new city? I feel like it's completely new. I feel like we're too far gone. Like, I bet this wild force is like even in like a different galaxy. Because even like the time, not even Earth. Yeah, because even like the time force. I guess time force went back to Earth in two thousand one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they like started mm-hmm. out on like a different planet in three thousand one, and then somehow ended up on Earth in two thousand one. That's but great. I bet like this like goes completely sideways, and they're just like on like wild planet with a bunch of big cats and okay completely unrelated any uh earth ranger stuff going on okay i I was gonna go a different route i was gonna say like to take their time thing a step further that they like jumped back into some sort of prehistoric time so it's like cavemen power rangers is what you're saying okay yeah of some of some kind where there's where, where things are just a little more wild It'll be interesting because they uh the time force stuff pretty much wrapped up pretty neatly, didn't it? Like they went and solved their thing, like and I think some of them stayed behind in like two thousand one, and some of them went back to three thousand one. But it wasn't a thing where, like like we had in some of the earlier Rangers episodes where, um, it just continued on to the next iteration of Rangers because like the bad guys had won or something. Yeah, they didn't chase the bad guy into space like they did yeah. in, in one of them and stuff. This one, Time Force, pretty much ended, so I'm that's why I'm picturing Wild Force just like picking up completely separately. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I'm gonna go like middle of the road with uh where this is located. I I once again I think it's just in Earth on Earth. Not within the <laughs> crust of Earth. It is in Earth, and it is basically probably whoever the Red Ranger is uh, decides to go on a hike one day uh, and goes on a hike and falls down like a hole that was covered up by brush, then discovers some either like a treasure chest or some sort of like idol that he finds that also then contains that awakens the alpha five of the show which is Mm -hmm. his spirit animal a talking lion uh an spirit and then right 
And then that also somehow wakens up the bad guy, which, what do you think the bad guy is? Oh, it's got to be something weird and sideways because they're still taking, <laughs> like they're still taking this from like the uh, like the Japanese shows at this point, right? The Japanese oh, yeah, Sentai yeah. shows. So, which means that like right. you can build up all this normal shit in like the the human American actor stuff that you do, but then still have to somehow tie it together to like. Well, we're fighting a like frying pan monster. <laughs> 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 like it could have something completely nothing to do with like any sort of like mythical lion thing that you're doing. Right. This is true. Uh, according to Wikipedia, the 10th season of Power Rangers Wild, which is Wild Force, is based on the 25th season of Super Sentai. So mm-hmm. I know that doesn't tell us what Jeez. the bad guy is, um, but we have the Ranger Morphiel point up. To yeah. See if anyone gets that. I would also be in. To doing one more point for well, who's the main bad guy? What what do they look like? A, you know, I I hope to. I don't even remember who who said it now. But so like all the we were talking about how all the baddies have been like thrown into space. So I hope if you know we are in a different uh, planet now or whatever that we see one of the old baddies like this is where they've landed kind of a thing oh so literally your bad guy guess is re a reappearing <laughs> old ba- like I, like 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 legit like rita or lord zed or something yeah okay i i will okay. accept that as an answer a returning bad guy okay or who's the guy what's the guy with the, like the monocle who makes all the like, oh the like, clay her like maker man yeah i don't remember what his name was I'm going to look it up. Um, Joe, I'm going to go with he is some sort of lizard king. I'm into it. Big lizards are fun, man. Yeah. And, you know, what uh, naturally is an evil animal is some sort of snake or lizard. Mm-hmm. And it would be silly if he was a snake because yeah. the human needs legs. The animal <laughs> needs legs for the human to get into the costume. So I'm going lizard, <laughs> some sort of lizard uh, guy. Okay. Uh, what is your thought, Joe? Um, I think it's gonna be a character that's like a little bit too close for copyright to the Jim Carrey version of the Riddler. <laughs> 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 I think it's gonna be like a skinny guy in green spandex and orange hair who like has questions <laughs> and like asks the Rangers things, but he's not quite the Riddler. He's just the question guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I wrote for your I wrote skinny Riddler esque guy. Yeah, is that is that what you want it to be? Okay, that's what I'm picturing. Yeah, perfect. Well, I, I think we need to get in to this episode. It's got an eight point one star rating out of ten on IMDb, so maybe it's awesome. Cool. <laughs> but we'll, let's let's uh, let's dive into the first episode called Lionheart. And, Finster. Uh, Is it Finster? It's Finster. I, Finster the, made the monsters. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the, yep. Okay, that okay. sounds right. But, Jimmy, we're going to watch <laughs> Sorry, what? Lionheart, the first episode of Power Ooh. Rangers Wild Force. Is this a Care Bear? <laughs> Maybe. We will see you after that. It's got to be six Care Bear movies. I'm, the music's running. <laughs> we're already gone. All right, we are back from the first episode of Power Rangers Wild Force, entitled Lionheart. Uh, Jimmy, did you find a write-up, or should we just walk through the episode? I mean, here, here's the little, the little uh, write-up on IMDb via Jesse Sanchez. For the past year, Princess Shayla has been gathering individuals to protect the Animarium, a sanctuary for the Wild Zords against the return of the orgs she has four rangers who have worked well together now cole comes onto the scene a young man with an affinity for animals and is trying to find out what happened to his parents so none of that was said (laughs) i think in the like some some of it was we saw well we we i mean it, it it yeah it we saw 
that Princess Shayla lady, and we knew there was four Power Rangers, but they did not explicitly like say she's been making, she's been forming a team for the past year, and you're the fifth mm-hmm. one that we need. They were just like fighting somebody at the beginning, and they said we need a fifth Power Ranger, and then mm-hmm. another guy went, "No, we're fine." <laughs> and then Max at one point said, "Like, like we're new at this too, so we know that they're recent wild force. What what is this wild?" Wild, 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 wild force, wild wild rangers, wild force rangers. Yeah. So I guess we'll go. (laughs) Let's just start at the beginning really quick where it, we had Cole who was seemingly uh, like some, like basically Tarzan, like a Tarzan, (laughs) George of the jungle, jungle to jungle. But he lived in like a tribe of people that lived in, in the woods spoke perfect english mm-hmm. and then he left to monkeys he left on what i would consider some sort of like rumspringa like to yeah. the <laughs> yeah because they told him like now like yeah now is the time to go find out your origins and they were like here are the two things we found when we found you in a field and it's um this little orb this little red orb and a picture of like, it's like a black and white picture of like a couple and a baby. And I think we're led to believe that that's like his parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He said, he said he was like looking for his parents at some point mm-hmm. too. So. And also the photo was like ripped and there was like someone else in the photo that he couldn't see anymore. Oh, so that's something crazy, crazy ant or something. Hope you got predicts about that. <laughs> I forgot to predict that. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so then he boats to what kind of presumably looked like new york city yeah Definitely. just a, yeah. the closest giant city <laughs> yeah yeah he just took a little canoe from god knows where yeah and 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 went that way there... <laughs> and then it kind of cut to the other four power rangers that were fighting somebody and they were too strong because mm-hmm. there was two of them they were fighting two bad guys yeah and they've never fought two before mm-hmm. i guess yeah something's, um, something's changing and then so they got done and they the, the bad guys escaped and then when cole was just like gonna sleep on a park bench uh someone's yellow lab just walked up like <laughs> <laughs> just a friendly yellow lab in the middle of the night in mm-hmm. a park i was like hey what's up and then the dog got taken away uh by bad people which obviously turned out to be like orgs i guess o-r-g-s so. yeah yeah the the, the evil orgs. monsters are referred to as orgs but yeah. these orgs had like human forms too y- yeah yeah they were like not in org form yet because that mm-hmm. that came at the end right so it seems like what they're doing is they're they were like grabbing animals off the street and maybe turning them into monsters is that what their oh. seemed kind of what their goal was maybe. or they were just killing animals <laughs> maybe but the orgs that we saw weren't like animal they were like industrial like yeah one of them was like a, wind a or jet engine yeah, <laughs> yeah and then one was like electric org mm-hmm. yeah so whatever they're doing mean things and they have a lot of animals in cages but like coal can hear and understand the animals apparently Mm -hmm. so there's that well then so in that then he meets well princess so then we get to princess shayla who's just some lady like (laughs) looking in a well that's like sees him and she's like "Ooh, this is the guy she's Um, got like a glenda the good witch and like (laughs) meets pocahontas vibe yeah. yeah, yeah. I was thinking like Mother Earth from uh, Captain Planet. Oh yeah, Gaia. Okay. Gaia. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Well, and so and Princess Shayla lives on a floating island that we. <laughs> yeah, it's shaped like a turtle. Oh, is that what it was oh, shaped like? I didn't like? even notice. Yeah. yeah, it's got like the silhouette of a turtle. Mm, okay. Interesting, because the <laughs> the the baddies animal capturing like warehouse was said Turtle Dine Industries mm-hmm. on it. Yeah. I don't know what the relation is. They did say that, or no, you read that. Did you read that? That the the oh. island, Princess Shayla's floating island, is a sanctuary for the animals. Zords. The Zords, yeah. It's called the Animarium. 
and it's called Animarium, which is a terrible it was in, name. In the middle of their like upcoming, uh, their bigger battle with the two orgs, then they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna call down the wild swords," and they're like, "This has never happened before." So the new guy's just, just like breaking all the rules. He's like, "Why don't we get? Do you remember those giant robots up there? <laughs> Why don't we ask them? <laughs> they're gonna come to help." Out. Um, With but so fancy marbles. I guess we should do some ranger roll call right now, oh, then, yeah. before they morph and get into the fight. Um, so we have the red ranger, who's Cole, who's the new guy, who was like recruited by force, like they just kidnapped him, right? Yeah. Dude, I really, <laughs> I wrote that. Did. Yeah, they were like, gets forcibly recruited by the Power Rangers. Uh-huh. They literally just like, he was sleeping or, and they like woke him up and they were like, you're coming with us right now. Yeah. And he's like, they what's going on? They found a homeless on? man in the park and they trafficked him is what they did. Well, and they like, they hit him in the <laughs> stomach to like incapacitate him. Yeah. The Yellow Ranger hit him once in the stomach and he passed out from she's it. She's mean. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> she's a little cold. <laughs> and then they brought him up there and they literally like put him in front of the princess lady and they're like, and she's like, you're our fifth new ranger. And he's like, I have other stuff I need to do. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm she's looking like, for these people. <laughs> she's like, yeah, but you don't understand. I'm telling you, you're the fifth ranger now. Yeah. And he's like, uh, and then they all put out like, he's got his like orb and they're like, we all have the orbs too. And then it was like, oh, everything worked out great. But <laughs> In their defense, like, they knew that he was the guy, and he just, like, didn't know that, and then didn't want to go with the strangers who attacked him. Yeah, he didn't know that, because <laughs> they didn't take the five sentences needed to say, hey, what's up? They could have started by showing him their glowing marbles. That would have been a thought. Yeah, he probably would have gone by choice. <laughs> yeah especially if they're like hey we're good people and we're trying to help the world like this guy seemed like he was pretty into like making sure things were cool and then the up and up mm-hmm. so so okay so then with that then they recruited cole who became the red ranger and his spirit she literally said like spirit animal by the way mm-hmm. um yep. his spirit animal is a lion mm-hmm. and then there was danny the blue ranger that was right. Danny was the Blue Ranger? No, he's, he's black. So Max is the Blue Ranger? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Max is the Blue Ranger, and he's a shark. Mm-hmm. Also, just really quick, can we talk about the shark zord that just hovers in the, in the, yeah, in the it's sky? Yeah, a flying shark, yeah. <laughs> because oh, how else man. do you like show a shark out of water? It's just got to fly. It's not going to like flop on the ground. I was, I was, I definitely was like, are they going to have to fight next to a, they did also, by the way, fought next to a dam. It could have just been in the water the whole time. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. But they made would, it hover more in the air. <laughs> so this is where it gets a little, okay, well first there's, I guess there's Danny, the black ranger, mm-hmm. the black mm-hmm. bison ranger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He has this like stampede move. Where he's always like just charging the bad guy. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, he's got he's in character, you know. And then there's Alyssa, and so I guess she's technically the white tiger ranger, isn't mm-hmm. she? Yeah, yeah, she's white. She's got ranger, like pink sure. little pink accents, but she's right. the white ranger. Mm-hmm. And so um, you know she's a girl. <laughs> right, right. Put some pink accents. Um, and then there was Taylor, and she was yellow, but I think they referred to her as the gold ranger, didn't they? Oh or yeah, because the it was ranger. like a golden eagle thing. Yeah, because she had the golden mm-hmm. eagle. So I assume that meant she was the gold ranger and not the yellow ranger. Okay. I'm not sure. I mean, either I way. If you, IMDb uh, says yellow, but who's to say? Seems like the type of thing she would be a stickler about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 She, and yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, And then, Joe, I'm sure you have a question about this. And I think uh, I said it out loud to to nobody while we were watching it, but I was like, did they just use a cell phone to morph? Yeah, yeah. like a flip phone. <laughs> yeah, when they when like a Samsung. They were, when they were about to morph, they like hand him his morpher, but they said they, what did they call it? Like the wild phone or something? I couldn't hear. I didn't quite hear what she said, but I was like, she didn't say take this cell phone. Yeah, so. it was she, it was something like that, like wild phone, and I was like, did she just say phone? <laughs> and then he like flips it open and it's just like a Nokia flip phone. Yeah. Yeah, col- yeah just colored gold. Yeah. yeah. Uh... And and then they and then they pushed like the center button and said wild access. 
Yeah. yeah. As if they were if, as they if they yelled. were like dialing into the internet <laughs> or something. Access. Yeah. We were we were all wrong. They yelled <laughs> wild access. When yeah, yeah, weird. we were definitely wrong. So FYI, currently as far as pre show points go, none of us got what the Rangers yelled correctly, and it seemingly no one got what the bad guy was correctly either. Do we even know mm-hmm. who the big bad is? I don't I even feel like think we haven't seen him yet. No, they've referenced the master, but we haven't seen mm-hmm. him yet. Yeah. Okay. The, the That's right. The the only person I know who what the the girl and that guy and I know the girl's name was Toxica based on the Oh yeah, she was front, in the credits. The, the intro credits. credits. Yeah. So she seems like the second in command lady to whoever the big bad is. So so the bad guy technically is still on hold. So we'll see if maybe he fits into one of those three categories we made earlier. <laughs> oh man, I hope so. Um, all in all, how was this for Power Rangers experience for you guys? Um, for Power Rangers, definitely above average for me. I'd say. <laughs> um, the whole the whole like so we had the the weird little um Tarzan intro that didn't really know what was going on and then it went into this like night battle that was cool cool. i feel like i I don't remember ever seeing like a night battle and then you had like a stampede bison guy charging people and then you had the shark guy just blasted out of the water like at first they were like kicking this org's butt and he like like charged him back into the water so shark guys like super powerful in the water i don't know eagle lady had like those like the like spider-man web under her arm so she could fly (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah no i thought it was i agree i thought like especially when they got to that night battle i was like "Ooh, this is fun they're like starting off legit then they went straight into their like combine their weapons into the the like jungle sword or whatever they called it and i was like man they are really pushing the toys quickly it's like first saban got into the marble game well since now they jimmy it all worked within the plot because they they were all five now a whole unit so then they all had to you find figure mm-hmm. out ways that why all five of them together is more powerful than yeah. them apart so we even saw Zords in this first episode. We did. They didn't combine, but we did see Zords. Have we have we mentioned yet that they're all um, like CGI Zords? No. Like yeah, I, that was a big difference. Yeah, that was a big difference to me. Is like we've seen weird CGI in Rangers shows before, but I think this is the first time where, like the Zords weren't like the actual toys. It was like weird cgi yeah i mean it wasn't good but it was obviously this is 2002 so Mm it's probably amazing probably looked (laughs) mind-blowing yeah but i just i don't know it seems weird because i feel like like you know especially if you're trying to sell the toys i feel like the big thing is like you want to see like the zords and you want them to look exactly like they're gonna look in the store and it's weird that like it's all digital now i feel like that's less appealing to me than like seeing toys <laughs> yeah uh-huh. i don't think it ever even looked too bad really you know mm-hmm. and then when it's like a zord and they're together it's just a dude in a suit and stuff yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm i'm wondering what they're gonna do for that now that'll be interesting yeah especially because the bad guys are still dudes in suits yeah right yeah i agree with you i like the i like the toys or the not the not uh computer generated stuff more Mm -hmm. i mean there was even some cgi in the uh like like fights when they're not um when they're just the the rangers themselves i think at like during the night scene i'm pretty sure like one of the orgs for a second was a cgi Hmm. felt weird yeah nice um yeah i think i liked the I thought the action was cool and I think they have been missing with that like tough Power Ranger music like we're Power Rangers go go and like they hit you they hit you with that not it wasn't a good song by any means but like they hit you with the 
that Power Rangers music, and I feel like that's been missing for the past couple ones. Mm-hmm. So I was happy to get back to that. I liked the night fight, um, and then they did fight a little bit more. I think anything plot related was just written. It was a pile of shit, though. Like <laughs> they didn't explain anything correct well, and it it's like come on, like just use two more sentences and like make this a plot. Then they just didn't do a like, good job. Why is this island floating? <laughs> you had questions about that? No, and I didn't, even, dude. I didn't even care about the floating island. I just like when they, that was fine. It's Power Rangers. I mean, there's Zords and bad guys around. I don't care about that. I was just like, when they were, t- every, like, why is this guy like a, a Tarzan and rumspringing now? And why is <laughs> What, when these people tell him to just come with them and he's like, I don't like that idea. He just goes with them and they hit him. And it's like, come <laughs> on. Like, this just, it's just late. It's just lazy. And it makes me worried that they're just like, it's Power Rangers. They'll watch it anyway. And it's like, kids don't care yeah. that much, but it's like, it doesn't seem that the people writing the story care that much either, though. You know? Yeah, it's cranked out all 40 episodes in a weekend. Right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, if you were telling me like, "Hey Josh, you're going to you and like these people, you're the writing team for Power Rangers." And I'm like, "This plot's going to get deep and awesome. We're going to go." <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's write a Power Ranger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it like it can't get too weird, right? Like it's not going to ever be weird enough that like, "Oh, we lost the kids." It's like, "Nope. As long as there's like fighting and stuff, you can still get weird and philosophical and go deep with this lore if you want well you can do it and you can also just be like cheesy and stupid yeah at like power rangers fun and cheesy and stuff too it's just that you don't need to have like terrible motivations and plot driving the reasons they're doing stuff and like when you're explaining the plot actually explain it sure. of <laughs> not have the write-up for the episode tell me what actually happened Too or like the reasons ask. why yeah way too much yeah. really i think power rangers could just be whatever as long as you're selling toys right yeah this is true i just like i want like a six out of ten effort when it comes to a little <laughs> plot instead of a two out of ten i don't think this is going to be breaking bad you know like plot level but <laughs> but what if it was what, what if? if what if power rangers were dea agents in new mexico think about it <laughs> Honestly, like, I feel like there's probably a market for that because all those, all the kids who watched this, you know, in the 90s, I feel like they'd be super down. Wasn't Cranston Zordon in the movie? The, yeah, the he was. That's right. Yeah. He was. Yeah. Yeah. Power Rangers Drug Runners or something like that. That's a, <laughs> that's a new series. <laughs> drug Force. The Rangers are, are Drug Force. Drugs? Drug Force, Mystic <laughs> Cartel, uh, Power Rangers DEA, <laughs> Power Rangers Ice. <laughs> oh <Yikes>. no! <laughs> uh, so, um, well, should we get into predictions? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do mine. Uh, number one, I think there's a sixth ranger Ooh. in this. Um, what color? Uh well, I was gonna go like green because they don't have a green one, so I mm. would my guess would have been green. Um, and then if Checks I was gonna out. guess their animal, this is all just for fun, just FYI. Uh, I would say he's of the reptile persuasion because he's mm. green. Of course. Um, I think in the last episode, Toxica has a ranger held hostage, so like they may they have to go save one. Um. I think the floating island, Animaria, Animarium, I think the island is in danger of crashing down into the mm-hmm. earth. A la giant meteor from X Men or the island that floating, or Sokovia? Is that what it Sokovia, is? Sokovia, yeah. Yeah. So that. And then number four, I think Princess Shayla either is already dead or dies in this episode. Ooh. By the time this show is over, that lady dead. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. She doesn't really seem like the mortal type. Right. Anything, if it bleeds, it can die, Joe. 
We'll see. Um, I can go. I've got that uh, Turtle Island splits in half. Ooh, I hope it splits in half and falls to the earth. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think it splits. Um, I think Toxica grows big. I think... I feel like we've seen either Rita yeah. or... Like Goldar. Zed. Yeah, Goldar for sure grew big. So I think we see Toxica grow big. Um, in the beginning, Cole had a scene where he was like eating bananas with a chimpanzee. Yeah, um, the Tarzan scene. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think like the chimpanzee probably shows up a lot and like helps out in ways. And I think that in this one, he helps out enough that Cole high fives the chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they've got that kind of relationship. Excellent. And then I think at the end of this, all of the rangers are somehow incapacitated. Either they're like frozen or they get teleported to another dimension or they're like shrunken or something. But either way, they're just all like, I don't think they would kill them, but I think they're just somehow Mm -hmm. like Like just not. Yeah. (laughs) They're all asleep. Um, They roofie that. that, That's what it is. They roofie them. And then the Power Rangers drug runners have to come in and Uh, save the day. Yeah. Yeah, See? (laughs) Yeah. So they're all incapacitated. Okay, nice. I have so in the in the intro, they were all on these like crazy motorcycles. So I hope we see some oh, yeah. motorcycles. I feel like there's always with the, doing first and last Power Rangers. There's always something like they don't morph or like you don't see the mega wild animal. Ooh, I hope we see a mega wild animal. Uh, so I hope we see the <laughs> motorcycles. I also have the Zakovia. Um, which one is that? This is Avengers Two. The Ultron <laughs> so one. So I think that. So I think the island is crashing down. I think we see like a Zordon tube. I don't know if there'll be anyone <laughs> just in an it. Empty tube. I mean, they they might just walk by. Maybe <laughs> it has a character in it, but I think we see and a Zordon like, tube. What's that? And someone's like, I don't know. It's always been here. And then you see two glowing red eyes, and, and that's it, the end of the series. Yeah, just like, <laughs> just like flashes a little bit, and then credits roll. The birth of the cartel for Power Rangers DEA to fight. <laughs> you never know. Could be Brian Cranston. Um, and then I have. So we talked about how the time force, just the story, just like totally wrapped up. I think mm-hmm. we see that again. I think we have reached the end of any sort of actual continuation um, from Ranger to Ranges. I think, I think like we kind of talked about, I think they're just bored writers at this point. They're just getting that paycheck, selling those mighty Morphin marbles. I'd actually be very curious to look up to see if it is truly like the same writing staff, you know, cause they only do it. Power Rangers is February to November, basically every single year. That's like one series now. And that's what mm-hmm. they've been doing for a while. And I'm wondering how how much of the writing staff from each series moves on. You'd think if they were good at it, and they, I mean, obviously, I feel like they think this is good enough uh, mm-hmm. that they that would just be their job. Like you know, oh, in the spring or in the winter, you write the next Power Rangers, just and kick then out forty eps. Yeah, could be exactly. Well, well, boys, uh, the last episode is a two-parter on the same day, um, and it is oddly, it's funnily called The End of the Power Rangers. Oh, God. Well, there you go. So, uh, this is it. We did it. We finished the Power (laughs) Rangers, guys. And then, inexplicably, so many more. Yeah, right? So, uh, I'm that's that sounds fun. So let's watch the last episode two parter, the end of the Power Rangers, and we will be back after that. Oh right, we are done with the finale of the Power Rangers Wild Force, the end of the Power Rangers, and we watched both parts one and part two because they were on the same day. And that's how we roll in first and last. Um, Jimmy, is there any form of write-up for this one? There is. All right. Uh, Lay it on us. 
Yeah, so here's what we have for the end of the Power Rangers part 1 and 2 aired on November 16th, 2002. Uh, So part one is, with no more villains to fight, the rangers realize that their time as superheroes is finally at an end. Meanwhile, in the remains of the Nexus, a new threat emerges to threaten the Earth and the Animarium. And then a thing is, uh, craziness ensues in part two. Masty or... (laughs) Nasty org? Master Org's destruction of nature continues unchecked while the Power Rangers fight a last desperate battle for the Earth. Good and evil collide in a final battle between the forces of Animaria and the Orgs. And then they all disperse. (laughs) They have a little montage. (laughs) Fair enough. Yeah, um... Like, it started off with them, like, partying and saying, like, that's it. We're done. Yeah, we beat all every single org. Mm -hmm. And then about three seconds later, there was another org. And it was like, I'm still here, and I'm the most powerful one. Um, And he then went about uh, fucking up the Power Rangers and their shit for about 20 minutes or so. He just destroyed. He destroyed everything. Um, yeah, pretty. Just, yeah, pretty just quickly. one by one, destroying or, destroying Zords, and just yeah. like beating them with everything they got, just like one by one. Yeah, yeah. To a little fanfare. I, <laughs> I mean, I did like. They had like this. I didn't realize it was the like on the floating island. It, it was called like the Valley of the Wild Zords, and it was just like every animal you could think of was its own Zord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I, my favorite. What am I? I have a couple lines in this episode that I definitely <laughs> liked a lot. One of my favorites was, "Oh no, wild giraffe Zord!" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, "Yep, yep." cool yeah Yeah. also there there was like a like a child like a a kid who Mm. they called like animus who came to help Mm -hmm. who was like a zord i don't know if he was in the zord or he was the zord yeah and then the bad guy like beat the hell and then they were like him and master org like knew each other and they were like he's like oh i beat you a thousand years ago or something Mm -hmm. you're back and then master org Proceeded to uh, murder that child, actually, I think. Yeah. He's like beat the hell out of like the giant robot version, and then that turned into a little boy, and then the little boy just dissolved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the, so there was, a, and there was another new character, um, Merrick, who was some form of ancient person who also was like, a ra- I don't know if he was a ranger. Or if he's he was just a, like Animus, he was a blue. He was like the Wolf Ranger. Yeah, yeah he, he wasn't. Was the, he wasn't the like Lunar Animus Wolf Ranger. Yeah, Lunar okay. So Wolf Ranger. he he goes to fight with Animus and his Ranger Zord thing, uh, and then they immediately get beat. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. and then, <laughs> well, they're all big on Earth. Uh, Animus, Merrick, and Master Org, and. Uh, they get beat and then their animus and Merrick's like human forms are on the ground and master org is about to s- just stomp on them. And the Island, the floating Island <laughs> comes floating out of the oh, sky yeah. to just like belly bump him away <laughs> and then beams them up and flies away. It made no sense. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, uh, Hey guys, how do we, we wrote ourselves into a corner. He's about to stomp these people. <laughs> What if, guys? <laughs> what, wait, wait. What, if? <laughs> oh, what no. if the island flies down and <laughs> bumps the bad guy out of the way? Huh? Huh? Just and they were like, nudge. gold. It's gold. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, and that was pretty much the whole first episode was just like Master Org dismantling the everything. Power Rangers and mm-hmm. the island, essentially, mm-hmm. and like just killing because most of everybody the power rangers even started out with some new zords that we didn't see in the first episode it was all different animals 
And then once yeah. those Zords died, then they called the classics that we saw in the first episode. And then those were defeated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then their little marbles exploded. Yeah. And they were like, where are our growl phones? I think they're calling them growl, <laughs> growl phones. Yeah. 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 I think I got, I caught, <laughs> finally caught it at the very last time they said it. And I was like, growl. Okay. Which mm-hmm. you can buy them on uh, eBay for like 15 bucks. Oh, oh, we should cool. each get a growl phone. I mean, <laughs> Are they just like on. functional cell phones? <laughs> just pay as you go uh, <laughs> straight to Saban's own cellular plan. <laughs> so good. Oh, man. October 2010. Someone, uh, YouTube, you got growl phone reviews, dude. <laughs> Ooh, gonna have to look at that before I buy anything. Yeah, um, yeah. Gonna, gonna want to make sure it's good. There's also, they fought for a little while in part one in something called a conga zord. That was, that was with the ultimate animals and it had bear blasters. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Also we saw, so, so at the, so I'm going to back up. So at the very beginning we had the party and, and then, um, they instantly realized, oh, power rangers are over. And then it instantly turns sad. What are we going to do? And Merrick is leaving some like restaurant or bar with like a, and this like barkeep is an old man named Willie. And he's like, where are you going to go? Young man. (laughs) And then that was, there was this one weird little scene and then we never saw Willie again. Yeah. I mean, I assume wherever Merrick worked was their like uh, Angel Grove kids hangout spot. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and he yeah, and he said, uh, and the place is called Turtle Cove. So did mm, all these yeah. towns just rhyme? Angel, Angel Grove? Grove, Turtle Cove, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Animarius. <laughs> <laughs> they all rhyme. Um, and then yeah, so then we get to the second part of the episode i I can't remember did the island like master org gets the island to fall to earth it's it's falling at the okay, end of and, part that, one. and that was uh, so end of part one's falling end of That's the cliff beginning hanger. of part two it falls and i don't you know i i noticed it right away but it was confirmed then when the planet the the island took off afterwards that it fell in an exact Try uh, like turtle shaped water in the middle <laughs> yeah. of the city. Yeah, there's like a turtle it, lake that it fell like perfectly into. It's like if Central Park in the middle of New York City had a turtle shaped lake in it, and then a huge like floating island fit perfectly. Just so it was like the best. It was the best possible thing that could have happened for a plummeting giant island in the sky. Mm-hmm. It really worked out. Um, and so then they decide, Hey, even though we're people, we can still, we can, we we, we should still fight. We can still fight. And they did that for a little bit. And then they obviously got their butts handed to them. Yeah. Cause they were just people. They were able to fight through the putties somewhat. I don't remember what the putties were called, but it's just like just some goons and they were able to like work their way through the goons but then once they match up with uh the master org again again he's like you know 200 feet tall (laughs) and he they literally like you know gave a big speech and then he breathed on them and they all just like flew back (laughs) yeah 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 but and then he's about to stomp them out no, he's about to just because they're standing on top of a building, I think, and he yeah. is like talking to them, and he just raises his, you know, um, his nexus blade. Like, I think he called it. Okay, but I was like his freaking like tower-sized sword up in the air, mm-hmm. and it's about to just chop them all in half, and then just a bunch of lights, like the clouds part, and all these like lights come, and it's just. Every single Zord he just killed, just yeah. coming back. They're just for back. no explained reason <laughs> whatsoever. No. Um, right, bef- right before that happened, I think they said like blah blah blah, they're extinct. 
<laughs> and then one of the rangers said, yeah, life always finds a way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, really? So, like, someone watched Jurassic Park Ian right Malcolm. before they wrote this episode? Um, and then, rightfully so, Master Org goes, this is impossible. <laughs> I just killed all of you. I yeah. just did this. Like, 35 <laughs> minutes ago, right. I murdered all of you yeah very relatable and and at that point i stopped and i rewound to replay what the power ranger said i think it was the yellow ranger Hmm. um what she said to explain away why everybody could come back and she said and i quote when humans and animals work together to save the earth, there is no way that they can ever be beaten. True. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> uh, and I Master guess. Org's like, that doesn't make sense. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> there are so many plot holes. <laughs> there needs to be a reason for this. <laughs> I did everything right. <laughs> uh... I went to Juilliard. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we rewind just a second? Well, they're still human, and they they land on Earth, and it's just all of a sudden like cloudy and raining hard, and the putties come, and they are battling, and then a young child is up on like a oh like yeah a fire escape like a fire escape uh huh surrounded by putties yeah. And then, uh, and then Red Cole, Red Ranger, uh-huh. um, just decides he's gonna go f- back full on to his roots, full on Tarzan, just rips his shirt off for no reason. I mean, besides the well, fact that he's just jacked, I think that's the reason. I think the reason is, is you ever try to swing on a vine while wearing a shirt, Jimmy? Nearly uh, impossible. Yeah. I guess he's trying to be more not. aerodynamic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess. I guess. And and yeah. so he saves the child, and that's that whole. Scene. He saves the child from the fire escape, and then but then like a short while later, he's he has his shirt back. Oh yeah, <laughs> because yeah, he gets it uh, back. Like I think yeah, not Lieutenant, in that scene, but Lieutenant, yeah. what's her name? Taylor. She oh. like grabs it, and she's like fighting the putties up the fire escape to get him his his like shirt back. <laughs> They they did weird things like there was a couple things like that. The shirt thing was one of them that was weird. And then at one point the Red Ranger calls like the he's got like he gets like armor put on him. He like calls forth armor and he's putting on it. And then the Master Org cuts off one of the wings from the armor so he falls down. And then the Master Org shoots all of the Power Rangers and blows him up. And then all of a sudden the Red Ranger's just standing there and he's not wearing any armor at all. Like it's not <laughs> As if oh. it just somehow completely disintegrated without. It was, it was like okay. You gotta. <laughs> it's, it's tough to cut and splice all the all the Japanese footage. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, so, so they were they were pretty doomed, and then all of a sudden, in a flash of light, they were no longer doomed. By no like <laughs> real action of their own whatsoever. Yeah. Like yeah. The, the Power Rangers essentially did absolutely nothing. Uh-huh. You know. Well, they got their powers back when the when all the Zords came back, right? But I'm saying they just didn't they didn't do anything to like earn that to and bring then they, the Zords back or something. And then or... the Zords came back and basically the Zords defeated, <laughs> yeah, the bad guy. So and so then they, they all just growled through... at him at the same time. Yeah, they, their their mega growl. What was it? They're like wild force stare. <laughs> yeah, uh, leer. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> and then they just went through like each character and what they were like up to. <laughs> well, like so Bye. sort of, sort of, Jimmy. Okay. Uh, f- I mean, first they went they went back to the island, and then the princess was like, "Well, now we did it. Now I'm gonna leave. So I'm taking all of your powers, and I'm just gonna fly this island into space until the Earth needs us again." <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. just kind of orbit. So. That makes me want to know whether or not in like five years they were like, should we just do that wild, wild one again? Like we can bring Gosh, them back, probably. right? Um, and then right before they tell, basically, well, this is while they're starting it, 
but Cole visits his parents' graves. And the one thing I, I giggled at a little bit was both his mom and dad's gravestones say, like, whatever their names was, devoted father and devoted mother. And I was like, they must have had a different family because <laughs> pretty obviously Cole didn't know his parents at the very beginning. He was an adult and did not know who his parents were at the beginning of the show. Right. So yeah. that must not be about Cole. It's a relative term. He, I mean, he was a father he who them. was also devoted. <laughs> <laughs> to was not devoted as a father. father. <laughs> yeah, and then they did that little like it, little like end of a like end of eighties movies or end of like Cole were, Cole ran around the world and like helped all the animals because he's a good guy. Taylor rejoined the Air Force. Air Force, yeah. Apparently, mm-hmm. Max and Danny just went on vacation with each other. <laughs> and just hung yeah. out. Um, Merrick. Oh, oh, well, so Alyssa became a teacher and she was like narrating the where did they all come from mm-hmm. thing. And then the other, the one other cool thing that I'm like, oh, who is this? Is that Merrick like just became a wanderer, like to help and maybe help people. And then there was oh, like yeah. a wolf masked man thing that was like just following him around. He's like, I'm going to follow along. Yeah. I he's think he like, said you're it, not the only lone wolf. And yeah, I'm yeah. like, I mean, you got to be alone to be a lone wolf though, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're two lone wolves. Now we're kind of a pack. Maybe you should find your own journey. <laughs> but I was like, this guy's cool. Did he ever fight them or get a he fight had alongside? A, yeah, he had a horn, which made me think he was an org or something. Mm. Oh, yeah. He looks kind of orgy. Yeah. So he must have been like some sort of piccolo or something. Ah, the Power Ranger piccolo. Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, all, but dream. besides like just the shitty explaining away things and just the terribly obvious plot holes that I feel like we kind of noticed even from only watching a couple episodes, the action and like just the like million zords involved in this series i was like this is one of the cooler power rangers i feel like i would agree with that statement (laughs) i don't think joe does no i think i think what kills it for me is like i i i think opposite of the zords i think it's too many zords there's too much to focus on yeah Mm. Um, that is true this this show is just they just said um what if we just did all the animals. Yeah. <laughs> so we just we picked sell all, animals. all of the toys. Wild giraffe sword uh, sold me, man. Yeah. Wild giraffe sword. There was a rat zord. <laughs> a rat? There yeah. was a pe- There was a peacock zord. That peacock zord, I yeah. Sh- shaked my, shook, <laughs> shook it, my head at peacock that. Peacock zord, was you're back. That did not need yeah. to be a line. Well, and with all of them being like CGI too, like it just feels very like intangible. So I'm just sort of like, well, they had to. They didn't have that many toys, you know. <laughs> but they could have. There's like no they limit. just there's um like when you had the humanoid that was like a bunch of Zords together, like fighting the big guy. Yep. Like you see, you saw those in the same area. But if it was just like the Master Org slashing, like the wild giraffe zord it's just the wild giraffe zord is in just like a separate cgi clip <laughs> yeah which i feel like it doesn't look as cool as like actually seeing dudes in suits fighting puppets or something yeah it's not as cool except for when you're like deer zord and you were putting him in you were paralyzing him right that was cool <laughs> <laughs> or when yeah, the so was- bumped into him so that was ridiculous, but we did we did see like in the episodes there's some where the like a bunch of Red Rangers from the past are there around. So like yeah, it seems like there might be some pretty cool, be cool episodes within this series. Yeah, there's there's an episode called Forever Red, and apparently it was done as like a celebration of the 10th anniversary Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. Um, know. so it features like the Red Rangers from all of the series, and I kind of want to go back and watch that. I'm intrigued. It seems cool to know that, it, like they they did that, which means that they're at least kind of like you. You would always, I just assume this the whole time, but that 
all of these Power Rangers are in the same like universe, you know, and like they're all connected. And for some way, some, you know, how have they right. never ran into each other, heard mm-hmm. about each other and done all this stuff. It seems that like the general public somehow is completely oblivious every time they're like, what? There's a monster Power Rangers. <laughs> what are those? And it's like, dude, a monster attacks every week. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so always the teenagers with attitude to save them. Yeah. <laughs> he picks uh, four teenagers with attitude. <laughs> And there always that's will be. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, Joe, you're not going to go back and watch this whole series? <laughs> no, I mean, definitely intrigued in the Forever Red. But otherwise, I think I'm pretty uh, pretty disinterested in, like, the lore of this one. I think I also am not – I'm less into animals as opposed to, like, I don't know what else we had, like motorcycles and cars or something or even yeah, dinosaurs. You're, you're, yeah, you're a real gearhead, yeah. Joe. <laughs> yeah, you guys know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could uh, Jimmy, some, some new, some some dinos. Yeah, is there, oh, is there I mean, I could always go up? go back uh, to I dinos. Think, I There's think another then, dino. I think uh, is the next one like Thunder Dino or something crazy. The next one's like Ninja something. I think Ooh. Ninja Storm. I think. Okay. Noise. Um. Yeah, I mean, I I think I think I got the gist of what's going on here. I mean, hopefully you did. You figured it out. <laughs> you know. Oh my god, this website's awful. Not a lot of awful. backstory needed. Although I, it would be interesting to see if they explained any of that stuff that they left hanging from the first episode oh yeah i mean hopefully they do yeah next is ninja storm and then dino thunder is after that so nice there you go that's what i'm about i i just like it later on there's one called like mega force and then there's just one called super mega force right after that <laughs> Ooh, Mystic Force. Got some sorcery. Maybe yeah, maybe there's there's some Wicca Power Rangers. I'm into it. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got some good ones coming up, I think. I think we got some great ones coming up. <laughs> it's going to be good. Yeah, I'm probably for surely going to watch that Red Ranger one, but I mean, obviously, yeah, I'm not going to watch the rest of this. I thought it was good. I liked, the, I liked some of the stuff they were working with. I really hope that they hire better writers and care a little bit more in the future ones. They just are writing stuff off and that, that the animals just all coming back at the end with no real explanation. It was just stupid. <laughs> yeah. We have 11 more of these. So we've far. only done, <laughs> we've only done 10. So, and it looks like they're still making them. I mean, according to the Wikipedia, there's one scheduled for 2021. Oh, Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, let's dive into these predictions then. Yeah. We still have to do that part. Do it, Jash. Um, so my first one was there's a six Power Ranger. And there and there was. He was a lone wolf. Yeah, he was kind of a a poor man's um um Eldon Henson. You know the uh he was like he was uh Oh, is his name like Fuller or something? And D two Mighty Ducks. Oh, also okay. Foggy from. Oh, from Daredevil. From Daredevil, or okay. Lenny in the Butterfly Effect. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Starring Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, that same like soul patch and like part down the middle with like the. <laughs> he had a butt. He had a butt cut wings. and. He had a butt cut and a soul patch. He was off. It was awful. He looked like he was very maybe... 2002. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, he's probably for sure in, like, an orgy MTV music video. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say he was, like, he was, like, the backup guitar player in, like, Stained or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, number two, okay, so I had yeah. Toxica has a ranger held hostage. Uh, she just wasn't in this episode at all. No. She was she was presumably dead because they had defeated all the other orcs. Um, number three, the floating island is in danger of crashing into Earth. 
I would say crashing into Earth is you're in danger of doing it. <laughs> it yeah, it, it was in danger, and then it did it. And then it did do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and then my fourth one was Princess Shayla dies or is dead already. And unfortunately, she's like the only one that didn't die. She lives. Everything else died. Yeah, kind of surprised. But I'm taking two points. Cool. Um, I can go. I've got um, a, a turtle island splits in half, which I thought was close because he oh, man. like stabbed the island and it looked like there was a rift, but we it didn't literally see it, it broke. Yeah. Yeah. Then split he, all like, the way. He like cracked the island to make it fall, but he didn't quite split the whole thing in half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apparently not. Stayed together. Oh, well. Um, I had Toxica grows big, but she wasn't in it. Um, I had that Cole high fives a chimpanzee, which he didn't like. He reunited with the yellow lab from the beginning, but oh, not the right. chimp. Yeah. Um, and then I had that the Rangers are all incapacitated. They like they gave up their powers at the end, but I don't. That's not what I meant by like they're just like evaporated. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, I almost thought for a minute I I was like. They weren't incapacitated technically at any time, but they like did fully lose like their all their powers. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so they became completely useless. They were no help for a good amount of time. <laughs> I don't know. They can still swing on vines, or at least hold. <laughs> yeah, them. this is true. Oh, they could st- they true. they could all still rip their shirts off and uh, <laughs> be Tarzans. So no points then. All right. All right. All right. I had my number one was uh, that we saw their motorcycles and we saw them. They they like beamed them down. And then it's like, I don't know what happened after that. They just <laughs> didn't get on them. But we saw them. Yeah. Yeah. So like weakest point ever. But <laughs> like I literally couldn't even tell you what happened after that, that they didn't just get on them. Um. Then I also said island crashing down. I thought we would see a Zordon tube. At least I wanted to see it. I re- I just I want to believe that they that they would do more like stuff in continuity with the other shows, but they just don't seem to care at all. I would be, it would be cool to have like another Zordon, like a different tube head, yeah. and be like, yeah, there's more of us. There's, yeah, there's more crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy, right? <laughs> they're called zords there's got to be more zordons right right yeah exactly um and then i thought that the story would would wrap in a nice little bow and it and it did i would say it did did you get three points there i got three that is uh that is a that was a good finish good finish strong. to the season jimmy finishing, finishing strong it's i like guess we'll find out n- next week if it was enough Probably not. <laughs> in, in all fairness, I will say I don't actually know if it was enough, even though I'm the I'm the one that writes down all the points. We will find out together. Slash, I will find out a little bit before you when I tally them before next week's podcast. All right. Um, but cool. Well, that'll that'll do it for Power Rangers uh, Wild Force. Uh, thank you, everybody for listening and joining us in this adventure if you'd like to get a hold of us uh, do some and give us some show suggestions or uh tell jimmy what type of pizza he should eat hmm. for dinner you can hit us up at f and l f a n d l at podcast at gmail or on the twitters at f and l podcast uh yeah and that's about it if you want to rate us stars or share this with your friends that would be cool too um you got friends right if you have friends <laughs> prove it to us by We're sharing friends <laughs> text text them a link of this episode yeah and say prove you're my friend and listen to this yeah if they're if they don't listen they're not your friend either so <laughs> have them prove that themselves too Prove your love to us, listeners, by proving to us you have other friends. This we bring people together. Weird. <laughs> it's getting, yeah, it's getting odd. Uh, but yes, tune in next week to find out who, which one of us three, 
comes in first place for season six and also the first and lasty six uh <laughs> you're gonna sub, edit subline in the title. subline to be determined <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week goodbye pizza pod by the way